Good morning. Now I'm going to show you how to do the basic purl stitch. Um, this is what the purl stitch looks like. It has a bump compared to the knit stitch, which is kind of the V. So when you're purling, most of the action is happening on the front side of your needles. So I always put my arm underneath to start the first stitch. And you put your, your needle in like it's coming from, front, from back to front. And you're still wrapping counterclockwise. And then it's going to go under the bridge and release. Okay, so let's do it again. So you're putting into the front leg the needle coming towards you, you're wrapping counterclockwise, and then the needle is going underneath, and then you're releasing. The, knit, the purl stitch is a little more, it's, it's, it's a little awkward after you've just learned the knit stitch, so um, just think you're doing the exact opposite of what you were doing to begin with. But just like the knitting stitch, you do get into a rhythm. And so, um, it will get easier. But you're creating these bumps. And we're just going to finish up this row. So you begin and end with the yarn in the front. And there we go. We have a the back side of... Um, stockinette is a pearl, and the front side is a knit. Hi, I'm Phyllis McGowan, the owner of Knit and Pearl in beautiful Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Our goal is to assist you in becoming a better, more informed knitter, and we strive to provide you with the products and services that you will need to perfect your craft. Please come to our shop and visit us, get to know us better, and to learn from our knowledgeable, friendly staff. Be sure to visit our website at knitandpearl.biz and learn more about our shop and also learn about our e-store where you can learn where you can shop 24 hours a day. Thanks for visiting.